Well, today we have on from the Saddleback College Emeritus Institute, we have an associate faculty member, Evgenia Willis. Nice to have you here today. Hello, students. Yes. <laughs> uh, first of all, um, I'm looking at your background here, and we're going to get into the fact that uh, uh, about uh, you do in the fine art department, but you were both an artist, but you were an engineer, right? Where were you an engineer in? That's right. I used to build the spaceships in Russia, and uh, it was quite difficult, I may say, muscular kind of job, as my childhood wish actually to become a fine artist. I was holding for a long time, and when I came to United States, I used the opportunity to become a student in a fine arts college, uh, Laguna College of Art and Design. Oh, of course. Very and well, I started yeah. from zero because engineering and fine art, they're not exactly running together. No, so no. Uh, I uh, received a bachelor degree and a master's degree from Laguna College of Art and Design. Absolutely great, great place to be. But I'm in emeritus today and I love what I'm doing. You know, uh, looking at the two, engineering and fine art, I would see that the major difference is very disciplined in en engineering. You have parameters you've got to stick with. Or fine art, at many points in time, you have to teach yourself to let go and just let things flow. Did you find that hard at first? Um, Surprisingly, no, because it actually creates some kind of flexibility in your sure. thinking, in uh -huh. your approaches to techniques. It is certain disciplines in fine art, like learning of a theory of a perspective. Right, right. It's pure precalculation, and it's mainly running with the architecture and engineering. Mm -hmm. So it's actually a perfect merge to different, uh, and as you said, looks like opposite, you know, philosophies. Yeah. It's helped me. It's become as a supportive element in my today's uh, approach in teaching. Uh, as far as teaching, you're in the fine art department, and what are some of the courses that you teach here? Uh, somehow it's happened that I become a queen of a pastel. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. But I also teaching uh, watercolor, uh, specifically opaque style watercolor, which is mm -hmm. quite unique and not much known yet. And I would like people to know more about it. It's beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, a way of uh, watercolor expression. And also drawing, because I believe drawing is the basic and we have a great number of drawing classes. Mm -hmm. uh, drawing is a basic to any kind of uh, artistic self-expression. Sure. And. Uh, that's my major uh, classes uh, I'm uh, teaching in Emeritus. Opaque watercolor, as yeah. you mentioned, is something that people may not for me, yeah. uh, are not that familiar with, where standard watercolors are more, I guess you would call them almost translucent. That's right. And the fact you have to think of negative space, of white space from the very beginning, where opaque, you have a little bit more flexibility in there, right? The uniqueness of watercolor in general is that you can convert it almost in effect of an oil painting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if in traditional watercolor, we're going from light to dark, right. guess what? In opaque style, we're going from dark to light. Mm -hmm. So it's much more controlled. And for people who has experience working with acrylic and oils, right. it's become much easier to do so. And another thing, it's involved a medium gum arabic okay that sure allowed you to separate layers and build it and another what's make a difference from traditional transparent watercolor is the use of white chinese or white gouache mm -hmm. and uh, that's the beauty you can create the effect of small beautiful miniature uh, uh oil painting effect right yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 very unique. I've years ago when I took art, I remember doing both of those, and yeah, the it's it's a it's so a different way of thinking. With that. A little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean I was great, but uh, I am familiar at it. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as the pastels go, that's uh, that's got to be a fun class too. Yes, this is a lifelong story with the pastels. I remember when I was studying in Laguna College, and uh, pastel was not exactly the most popular media. And I find it fascinating to just pioneer through that media. And mm -hmm. I put so much energy. And I made my diploma, bachelor diploma, with a pastel. I was the first one who did diploma with a pastel. 
It was some kind of revolutionary moment there. And later, <coughs> part of my master's degree was done in pastel. And mm -hmm. it's happened, I'm just in love. And the side effects of this love, I have a thousands and thousands of sticks of pastel that just feel, make me feel so secure that I have for tomorrow to work with something. Yeah, oil pastels? Is that no, this is a soft pastel. Okay. It's so many gradations of pastels. Yeah. Yes, but it's quite different from soft Mm -hmm. and oil pastel, different techniques. Yeah, definitely. Inside of a soft pastel, also gradations of hard pastels, and mm -hmm. so I can give you a lecture about it, you know. Yeah, I, I, I used to work in pastels too, which oh, I, I can, like it, because it's, can talk about it's it. a little bit more uh, controlling in a way. I mean, it, for me, anyway, it's almost like I used to work with markers a lot. And mm -hmm. It's kind yeah. of like a, an offshoot of That's that. Right. Uh, how long have you been doing this uh, with the Saddleback Emeritus Program? <clears throat> Well, this is uh, my fourth semester, and I tell you, I'm probably the luckiest girl. I love what I'm doing, I love my students, and it seems to me they appreciate me also. And one of them I will see today afternoon. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now, have you done other work as far as teaching elsewhere? Have you done it just with on the Saddleback campus or uh, other campuses? Well, I was doing some workshop while I was, I was exhibiting at the Festival of Arts from 2002 oh, nice. to 2007. And the only reason I dropped the festival because I was planning to come back for master degree. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of a girl, I am running for quality instead of quantity. Right. And I knew that I can't handle two major things in my life. Right. So I decided to go with a master degree. And yeah. then it happened right after I, I found a great job working for the Emeritus. That's great. Yeah, that is really nice. Now, as far as um, your students showing their artwork, you were mentioning before we came on, there's an art show at the Saddleback College Library. On the main right? campus, okay. in library, we have a great show, and it is a celebration of 40 years of teaching in Emeritus. Please welcome. The reception will happen on April 1st from 2 to 4. Very good. It so, will be a Friday. Yeah, yeah, so we want to make sure that people understand it's not our library here, it's over at Saddleback College. On the main campus. And you're going to see some great art. It is amazing the yeah. talents here. It really is. Great that you could come on today. It is a pleasure, pleasure to have opportunity to speak for Emeritus, please, for students, for people who can find themselves. This is the best place yeah. to create a second breath in your life. Please, please check our website. Yes. It's www.settleback.ad. E D U mm -hmm. slash emeritus. Very good. It's been a pleasure. I can see your passion. Thank you. Which very is much. wonderful. Thank you. And uh, check it out. Uh, these books are available here. And although semester has already started, remember semesters come up in summer as well. And it won't be long before uh, you'll be able to sign up for those classes too. All Thank right. you. We will be Thank right back. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you.